Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to my custom villager houses tutorial series where we are building a house for each of the Minecraft villager professions. So if you don't want to miss out on the rest of these houses, feel free to subscribe. All of these are from my survival series where we are making a custom village and of course the original concept of this series came from Mythical Sausage. Both my playlist and his are going to be down in the description for you to check out. So far we have done the cleric, weaponsmith and fisherman houses, but today we are building a home for the cartographer. As always, here is your materials list for the build, and at this point in the mini-series I probably don't need to be going through this each and every time, but I will just mention that the dark oak trapdoors look a little bit different for me in my custom texture pack. That will be absolutely fine, they'll look just the same as they do in mine as they will in yours, because we're going to be putting some item frames with some maps inside, so do make sure you bring along 11 maps, also 9 flowers to go inside of the flower pots and on top of the grass. The size of this house is roughly 11 by 13, that is the area that we have marked out here. And the first thing we can do is face where we want the front of the house to be and place down two strip spruce logs five blocks apart just like that. We can then come around to the side here and leave a gap of one, then leave a gap of three and then leave a gap of one again. And then we can swing over to this side and copy it on over so there's one, three and one again. And then we can bring up all of these outer pillar blocks up by four more blocks for a total of five. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, three more times. And then we want these four remaining pillars to be eight in total. So we already have one on the ground. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, three more times. And you should have something looking like this. Facing the front of the house here, these two middle pillars on the left hand side actually need to be taken down by two blocks for a total of six. That right there is the correct height, but the ones on the right hand side can stay at eight blocks tall. So now we can start work on the roof and starting at the front of the house here, we're going to have two upside down stairs on the top blocks of both of those pillars with a regular one coming out of the back of it. We can then have a full block on top with a stair and upside down once again and basically we're just going to repeat that pattern of full blocks to stair to upside down stair all the way to the very top until we eventually meet them in the middle just like this and then in that center block we can have an upside down stair regular one on top with an upside down one coming out the front and two slabs on top just like that we can then come to this upside down stair here and have a spruce trap door Change that to a slab, spruce trap door, slab, and then spruce trap door. And then on top of all of the trap doors, we can have a slab. And on top of all of the slabs, we can have a trap door. So the front of the house should look like this. We can then copy that on over to the back. As for the other two sides, we can grab an upside down stair and place it on the top part of that pillar block where we can have a spruce trap door just to the front of it and then one more on top again. We can place a slab by these two trap doors right here and have an upside down spruce stair on this pillar block. So we should have something like this at the moment. We can then grab our spruce trap doors and do the same again. So two trap doors next to and above the stairs where we can have three slabs in the middle. So the side looks like this. We can then copy it on over to the other side round here. Obviously slightly different because these pillars are a little bit shorter, but the same shape stays the same. So that right there is the general outline of the roof all done. The final thing to do where spruce is concerned is from this top stair here, bring in by one, two, three, four more stairs on both sides, which will leave us a gap in the middle to place a spruce plank. We can then face the front of the house and come round to the left hand side, so the side where we don't have the extended pillars, and we basically want to have stripped oak logs next to the spruce planks. So we have them horizontally going across, we want to miss these three in the middle but we'll have two more on the other side and whenever there's a spruce stair we want to have oak stairs going all the way across and follow that on up so we'll have log log and then stair and stair stretching across to the other side 
We can now go ahead and add in our chimney, which is going to be positioned on these four blocks right here. So we can go ahead and remove those one away from the left hand side here. So the first thing on top of this strip spruce log, we're going to have one, two brick blocks with a stair on top. We're then going to go down a level here and place one, two, three, four, five brick blocks with a stair on top of that. We can then come around to this side right here, just next to this horizontal oak log and have one, two, three, four, five more blocks where we can have a stair facing inwards this time. And on the final one, same level with this brick block, bring them all the way up so it just goes one higher than the stair we've just placed down and on top of that one we can have our campfire surrounded by spruce trap doors and it should look something like this. For this part of the roof, we're going to break away these six blocks right here. So it's on the second horizontal oak log going across, one away from the side. And then we can just step inside and place a spruce trap door on the back of each of those oak stairs. And next to the horizontal stripped oak log, we can have two stripped spruce log, just like that. We can then grab a spruce stair and have that in the middle with a glass pane on top. Place two spruce trap doors and flick them upwards in front of the bottom strip spruce log where we can have a stair on top of both of those facing outwards with an upside down one in the middle and that right there is just a nice little window to fill in this open space on the roof. As for the other side round here, we want to start off with two oak planks on the top part of these spruce pillars here, just one block behind them, and this will be a window eventually, but we want to grab our stripped oak logs and have two on the bottom part of those blocks with two stairs above it, just like that, where we can then get our spruce stairs and have a normal one on top of the spruce logs, two upside down with a trap door on both of those, as well as one in the middle, and then in the very center we can have a spruce slab. So we should have something like this at the moment. As I said, this will become a window later on, but then we can grab our stripped oak logs and have two again either side until we reach the oak plank, and above that we'll have three oak stairs, but the corner one here can just bend around and connect up to that spruce stair. We'll do the same for this side as well. And then we can grab our stripped oak logs again and have a line going all the way across from one spruce plank to the other. Just get my way out of here, I'm trapped inside. But then we can have a line of stairs on top of the logs we've just placed down. One in the center here just beside the spruce slab. And then these two blocks can become oak slabs. So this side should look like this. We are currently facing the back of the build, so the chimney should be on the right hand side and we just want to have a line of strip spruce logs going across from the top pillar all the way to the other. And then one block inwards we want to have a line going all the way up and connecting to the very top. So the back should look like this and then if we just swing around to the front here we just want to have that same line going all the way across but leave this gap open. And for the top part up here, we want to grab our bricks and stripped oak logs and we're going to have two bricks on both of the sides with four stripped oak logs until we reach the top of the roof just like that. We can then have a brick at the bottom, a brick at the top with an upside down one just below that where we can have two spruce fences in the middle. So the front should look like this and then we'll head round to the back here and do a similar thing. First things first, we'll actually break this middle slab and then we're going to copy on over virtually the same. So two bricks in the middle either side, four stripped oak logs like that, and then we'll just have bricks going all the way up until we reach the very top point right there where we can grab our oak fences and have a line stretching all the way up until we reach the top and they spread out like that. And then in the middle one here, so two down from the top, we'll just have two more fences either side. So the front looks like that and just to show you again, the, or sorry, the back looks like that and to show you again, the front looks like this. For the bottom part of the front of the house here, we're just going to fill in this whole area with white terracotta. And then once we have that done, we can go ahead and break out these two parts right here. The right hand side can become a window and then we're going to place our spruce door on the other. So it should be looking like this at the moment where we can then grab our oak stairs and have one so we can walk up to the doorway and we'll just have two upside downs either side it. Brick wall on top of the upside down stairs, oak fence on top of them and we'll have three spruce slabs as a little bit of a covering just like that. And then the final thing to do here is to add two spruce trap doors as shutters. For the back of the house here in this middle section we're going to have an oak stair and then an upside down one at the top with two oak trap doors in the middle. 
Next, we'll grab our white terracotta, have two at the bottom here, as well as two at the top, and then two glass panes on either one of those, so we have something like this at the moment. Then we can grab our oak fence gates, and on this right pillar here, we're going to have two of those sideways and opened up, facing the window here, where in front we can have some spruce trap doors, so it's like some shutters being held open by the fence gates. Next up, on the left hand side, we can have some barrel stacks, so we're just going to grab three barrels and place them in varying directions, so we get something a little bit like this, with a flower pot on top. The left and the right hand side here are completely the same, so I'll just show you how to do one and you can copy it on over. So we're going to have another white terracotta block on the outer sections here at the bottom with one more at the top where underneath we can have a spruce stair. And then underneath that we can have two glass panes giving us something like this. And next up we'll grab our bricks and have six along here at the bottom and then we'll bring them up on both sides all the way to the top with a stair at the very middle point right there and then these three blocks can become glass panes. Next up we'll grab our stripped oak logs, have two either side just in front of those brick blocks with an oak stair upside down in the center where on top we can have three grass blocks where we're going to put some flowers and we just want to surround them with five spruce trap doors. And of course place your flowers on the grass and then copy this over to the right hand side too. The final thing to do with the outside of the build is to add in our window on this spot right here, but before we place down the glass panes we need three upside down oak stairs on the top part of those brick blocks, where on top of those we can have three glass panes and we just want to make a 3x3 three three window so we have something like this. So that is the exterior of the cartographer's house all done, we're now ready to head inside and start work on the interior. The first thing to do inside of this big and empty house is to place an oak stair just in front of our doorway here with two either side. We then need to get rid of all of the grass blocks. And replace them all with oak planks. We can then go ahead and add in our spruce staircase. So the first one can go just to the left of this bottom brick block and then we can have one, two, three and four more. Upside down, beneath each of those, we're going to have four more stairs, just like that. And then we can grab our spruce slabs, where we can have one, two, three at the top level here in line with that stair. Just beside it, we're going to have a strip spruce log, slab, spruce log, and then slab again, and just bring these over to the other side. So that then the ceiling looks like this, and the floor above is looking like this. On the second level here, we want to have a full oak plank just next to these upside down oak stairs that should already be in place underneath our window. We can then grab some oak stairs and have one just next to this glass pane and then a continuous line going all the way across. Over on this side we'll have one, but then the other can be curved round just to the side and same again over here. And then the final thing to do is add in a line of oak slabs on the top part of that stripped oak log. Just beside our window here you should see you have two blocks on either side which we can go ahead and fill in with some more horizontal stripped oak logs. So this side is pretty much fully complete as far as smoothing things out is concerned. We can then turn around and just complete our chimney. So underneath this one, not the one in the corner, just the one to the left, we'll have an upside down brick stair with a normal one below it and then just copy that over to this side as well and have a normal stair on top. So the chimney looks like that and we can go ahead and complete that by placing in a campfire. We may as well go ahead and finish up this floor. So to begin with, just above the spruce fences here on this side we'll have ourselves an oak fence with a lantern hanging down from below. Turn around 180 degrees and place the cyan bed or whatever colour you want in the corner here. We can then line ourselves up with the centre of this window and go one block back and place down an oak stair and put two spruce signs either side of it as a nice little bit of a chair so you can sit and look out the window. Just diagonally one block away from the chair we're going to have a spruce fence with a sign carpet or whatever colour bed you have on top as a table. Scaffolding just beside it here and then scaffolding just beside the bed. 
And on top of those scaffolding blocks, we can have two flower pots with some things inside, corn flower and jungle sapling, for instance. And then just a couple of blocks above our bed here, we're going to have an item frame where you could display a map, but I personally am going to put a clock. And then we just want to turn around to the left, and on these two horizontal stripped oak logs, we want to just cycle through our paintings until we get one that we like. I think that one will be fine. As for the bottom level down here, we're going to start off with a barrel stack underneath our staircase on these three blocks. So we'll just place them in varying directions, something a little bit like that, where in front of this barrel, we can have an upside down dark oak stair with a regular one just round the back. Next up, grab your cartographer's table and place them in front of the oak trap doors here with a dark oak stair upside down on either side. A full dark oak block in the middle or two slabs would do the job with two more dark oak stairs and then either side of this table we've just made, we want to place a dark oak trap door. And then we're just going to grab four more of those and on the top part of this spruce log, so not this block right here, just down a couple of pixels there so we can place something on top of it. We're going to place one there, go up by two and another one at the top of this block. One more at the top of this brick block and then one on top of this uh, white terracotta, just like that. After you've got that done, we can grab our lanterns and item frames and place them around the blocks that we've just put down. So the first one can be a lantern on this top trap door, followed by three item frames. Two more item frames on top of those upside down dark oak stairs with a lantern on top of that corner block. Two item frames on the wall here with another one just left of the top trap door with one more just next to the cartographer's table. And then the final item frame can go right here. The very final thing to do is fill in all of these item frames with some maps, which I will not be doing because the only thing that I can show is this, which doesn't look particularly impressive, but as you can see, fills up that spot quite nicely and will look a lot better if you get some varying maps all around your world with some actual terrain instead of just grass blocks. However, I do like to reserve one of these item frames, this one right here, for a compass, which apparently teleports me on the roof. Who knew? There we go. As you can see, it is in fact inside of the item frame. No idea what just happened there. But that everybody is going to do it for this tutorial. I really hope it helped you out if you were looking to build a cartographer's house. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.